Hello, everybody. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Dana Gillespie. Oh, no, there we have John Lundowski. How you doing, John? Hey, I'm doing pretty good. Welcome back. Yeah. Uh, so surgery went well. Yeah, surgery went better than expected, which is why I'm back sooner than expected. As well as uh, you will be here in our great presence tomorrow. Uh, this is our public announcement that we will be live tomorrow on YouTube. Facebook. We're going to see if we can't do Instagram and Twitter. We're going to try those two, see how it works out for us. It is a, uh, we're, we're trying some other stuff tomorrow. So give us fair, let us uh, give that warning if it's not great. Right. We apologize, but we're going to try. Um, but we have. Make sure to remind me to bring my tripod. <laughs> I will. Uh, <laughs> But why we're here is we're going to break down the Preds roster a little bit more so like go through of who made the roster and, and get into that a little bit more. Um, so the goalies, we knew who they were going to be ahead of time. It was going to be Riddich and Saros. Riddich was brought in so that Ingram had a full year of AHL starter. Right. Understandable. It's good for development. It works well. Why? That works. Uh, Saros is the starter. We know that. It is, as I've said, and me and Jen, I think I've talked about this a little bit. It has seemed weird not seeing that 35 stroll off of the, onto the ice. Right. It, 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 it has been weird. Um, your defensemen, um, some uh, are, are a bit of a shocker, some are not. Uh, your defenseman, uh, uh, oh, by the way, your goaltenders, uh, Saros will be wearing number 74 per his usual. And uh, Riddich will be wearing 33. Um, then we have defenseman um, Matt Benning. He will be wearing five. He was with the team last year. Um, he's on the last part of his uh, two-year deal for a million dollars. Then we have Mark Borovesky. He's uh, going to be wearing number 90 this year like he did last year. Um, he's also on the second year of uh, his uh, two-year, $2 million deal. So there's that. Those are some of the guys that were there last year. Uh, shocker of last year, and most likely Yossi's line mate is Alexander Carrier. Made the roster out of camp. Uh, can't be any prouder of Carrier. Uh, right. Because our development system here in Milwaukee works. Um, just like so you guys are fully aware, we are based in Milwaukee. So if you're ever wondering why certain times will say certain things, about here or our development program, it's because we are based in Milwaukee, so just to keep your reference. Um, uh, so then you have your assistant captain, Matthias Ekholm. Um, Ekholm, um, in, in a news update for Ekholm, Ekholm signed a four year, uh, $25 million deal today. Um, we were gonna just do a solo video on that, but we figured we'd just kind of tie. <laughs> right. Um, it is a uh, 6.25 average. Uh, his first year is 5.5 average because of the cap block. Um, uh, or the salary cap block. They've locked the salary cap um, until they can, uh, the owners can recoup some of their losses for COVID and playing players and staff and, you know. Right. Arena fees and all those other things. Those things all do come into play. It, it costs almost four grand in Nashville just to turn on the lights a month. Four grand. So I can understand where where that comes in, you know. Right. Okay, this is costing us money. This is costing us money, you know. Here's our costs, and we're having no fans to recoup that loss. Right. You know, so many fans just look at stuff and 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 don't see the financial side of, of from the owners or the league's perspective. But we're right, going to have hockey back. Um, we uh, are. Uh, then we have uh, uh, Echo will be wearing uh, 14. Uh, Carrier will be wearing 45. Looks like I'm going to have to go buy me a Carrier jersey. Uh, anybody that knows me knows the number I played hockey in was 45. So it looks like I'm going to have to go pick up a Carrier Prince jersey. <laughs> along with a mm -hmm. Trennan one I already want and a Saros one I already want. So it looks like I got a three list there already done. <laughs> um, 
So Dante Fabro will be uh, uh, made the roster again. Uh, his cap hit is two point four million uh, this year. Uh, he's gonna be wearing number fifty seven. He's still young, still got some growing to do. I don't think he's hit the top of his game yet. Right. Uh, I think that'll come in a couple years. Um, then we got Ben Harper. He will be wearing seventeen, most likely a scratch every night. I'm gonna say that along with Benning. I, or or uh, Borveski. I think that those three are going to be the, in rotation. Right. That sixth spot on the def- those that that bottom pair. Um, then you have uh, Roman Yossi, our captain from Bern, Switzerland. He will be playing in the Olympics this year for Switzerland. Uh, that is a notice. Uh, he has signed with the Preds through 2027-28 at $9 million. Um, that's how you take care of your captain. Yeah. That's truly how you take care of your captain and a guy who gives you everything. Norris Trophy winner. He's actually underpaid for Norris Trophy winners, believe it or not. Right, he is. Um, there, he took a hometown discount, took a couple mil off. Uh, normally around $11 million is what you're looking at there. Uh, then you have uh, Philip Myers. Uh, Myers is a big boy, six foot five, two oh nine, uh, right up there with Ekholm at six foot four, two sixteen. He's got to put out a little bit of weight. He's 24 years old, so he'll learn in time. Uh, he signed through 2022, 23, so we got another year. Right. Um. Uh, those are your defensemen. Uh, Myers will be wearing number six. Last predator to wear that. Well, former captain Shay Weber. Yeah. Um, all right. So I'm just going to go off of the returning names for forwards first, and then I'll get into the new guys. All right. Returning for the Preds this season is Nick Cousins. He is on the back end of a two year deal uh, uh, coming in last season uh, with 1.5 million cap hit. Uh, you got Matt Duchesne. He's still signed through 2025 26 at 8 million. Uh, Forsberg's on the last year of his deal. If a deal, and I'm going to say this, Preds fans, don't hate me for this, but if a deal can't be done by trade deadline, better to trade him and get something than lose him to free agency for nothing. All right. Um, he will be wearing an A this year. He is the... I think they said associate captain. All right, and then uh, so uh, we have uh, Mikel Granlin returning off of that Fiala deal. He signed through 2024-25, so he'll be around for a while. Uh, Rocco Grimaldi is back on a back end of his two-year deal uh, for $2 million. Uh, Tanner Janot has returned. He is here till 2022-23. Um, Janot, I just can't wait to see what he what he can do more right. in a whole year under his belt. He looked good in camp. See what he can do. Um, then you have Ryan Johansson. He is signed through 2024-25 uh, at an $8 million cap hit. Um, you have uh, Luke Coonan. He is signed for the remainder of this season for $2.3 million. Uh, Matthew Olivier will start the season uh, on injured reserve out of Biloxi, Mississippi. You don't see that too often. No. Um, his family were was born. His family lived in Canada, but he was born in the U.S. When his dad played hockey, and during the travel when he was born, his wife was with him, and she went into labor in Biloxi, Mississippi, during a travel. Uh, believe it or not, that's a weird story that he was talking about one time. All right, then we have. Uh, yeah. Colton Sissons, he's returning. He's here until 2025-26 at a $2.8 million deal. Um, Illy Tolvanen. Tolvanen, this is your prove it year. Prove you deserve to stay. Prove your worth, and you may make some money off your next contract. Uh, Tolvanen signed through 2023-24. Um, I, I do like the youth in this team. Um, the Preds are the 10th youngest team. They're right. also ranked 10th in prospects um, by Elite Prospect. The, the website, EliteProspect.com. Uh, you can go there and check out uh, their 
uh, in the system or you can watch our video when we do it. Um, ours will be coming, I believe, on Sunday. So we're going to be doing that this weekend. Um, we give them, we do those on Sundays every week, every two weeks. Um, we haven't done one for two weeks. So every right. Sunday, um, every two weeks, the reason being giving them time to update stats. Um, Phil Tomasino um, played for in our system last year, but did not make crack the roster. Right. Around until 2023, 24. Um, he is a rookie. Let's we'll see what he can do. Then we've got Yakov Trenin, the tank, the Russian tank that yeah is Yakov Trenin. Trenin is six foot two, two hundred one. He's on his second year uh, in the end, going into his first full year in the NHL. Much right. like Holvin and much like Olivier, much like Janelle, <laughs> and much like the new boy, new guy, Cody Glass. Cody Glass is on his uh, last year of his entry level contract. He was traded for uh, by um, the Predators from uh, Vegas for uh, Nick, uh, or uh, I think it's Nolan Patrick uh, uh, during that uh, the uh, Ellis trade. So, uh, given that, that's the uh, Preds' current lineup. Their head coach is John Hines this year. Right. Uh, our uh, assist, our system will be the uh, Milwaukee Admirals and Florida Everblades this year. Check it out. Uh, the Everblades, I believe we are only 10 days away from their home opener. Yeah. Um, we are one day away from the Preds' home opener. And we are, what, three days away from ours in Milwaukee. Right. So uh, we've got a lot going on there. Um. Please check out our future content. We have a preview coming up shortly. Thank you for watching. This has been from Milwaukee to Nashville, brought to you by the wonderful folks at 